Hello folks, this is Mike Harris and it is Tuesday, August 13th and I'm just doing a little update on uh, Ali Afshar who is a local Hollywood director as he just wrapped up his latest film that he shot in and around the Petaluma area. He's actually shot 13 movies in and around Petaluma which is just amazing. Um, he's a local guy that went to Casa Grande High School and it's just amazing that he gives back to the community as much as he does in terms of providing jobs and just the uh, um, economic stimulus that he brings when he has all these movies. Um, he uses local people as extras. I've been honored to actually be in two of his movies, very low level part, but just it was just fun being a part of it. Um, and he just loves coming back to his roots and gives back to the community. He was even one of our guest speakers at the Santa Rosa Junior College for the Petaluma Campus, one of our breakfast fundraisers. He helped us raise money. I'll actually put a link to that speech that he gave a couple years ago in the comments section below. Uh, so please check it out. And so just thank Allie when you see him around town. Just thank him for all that he's done. And I know that he's going to continue to do movies in and around the Petaluma area. So uh, let's just kind of go through this latest uh, little news clipping about Ali. He just, like I said, wrapped up this movie. You can see that Dennis Quaid was in it. And as we go through this, he even says, The last day of a film shoot is always a little bittersweet, allows producer actor Ali Afshar sipping a cup of coffee and taking his last bite of breakfast. But it's also very satisfying. Seated at a table under a large canopy, surrounded by various trucks, cars, assorted movie-making machinery, and a short row of trailers emblazoned with the brand name Star Wagon, Afshar, who grew up in Petaluma and attended Casa Grande High School, where he became a star athlete, is in a somewhat sentimental mood, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Have you ever eaten? Have some eggs benefit? And Benedict, he cheerfully offers all visitors and passing crew members, gesturing to the nearby craft services table, also known as the breakfast buffet, overflowing with warming bins filled with food, muffins, pitchers of juice, decanters of coffee. On our last day of filming, they go a little fancy, after our smiles. This base camp has been set up in a parking lot just off of Lakeville in Petaluma, and though shooting for the day is yet to begin inside a nearby apartment across the road, there are about two dozen crew members scampering about with a blended measure of focus, energy, and nostalgic graduation day, camaraderie, and solidarity. The words last day, spoken with a poignant smile and a nod, seems to be the current substitute for good morning. As the cast and crew greet each other and go to work, or swing over to exchange high fives with Afshar and grab a cup of coffee and some eggs benedict. So this is the 13th film locally made by Afshar, working with co-producer Ava Retke, and a team he says has some been like a family over the years. He is, of course, the founder of the and executive director of Forest Films, a project of Forrest and Charlotte Lucas of Lucas Oil in association with Afshar's own production company, ESX Entertainment. Uh, Afshar, who became known in Hollywood as the actor Power Rangers, The Siege, Jag, before branching out into the into producing, has appealed in, appeared in small to large parts in most of the films made here in Petaluma. Among his more prominent roles was his part in American Wrestler, The Wizard, with John Voight and, and William Fitchner, which was an amazing movie. So be sure to check that out, find it on Netflix or whatever your streaming is, or buy the DVD. That was one of the best movies I've seen in a while. Uh, so the story was based on Afshar's real-life experiences of Petaluma as a member of the Casa Grande wrestling team in the 1980s. And in that film, he played the uncle of Young Alley, played by George Castoras, who went on to reprise the role in the follow-up film American Fighter. That film just had its world premiere at the Fantasia Film Festival in Canada, where critics gave it highly favorable reviews. For the last few weeks, though, the crew has been in Petaluma hard at work on the current project, a mixed martial arts drama titled Mickey Kelly. The film includes appearances by Dennis Quaid, the rookie in Day After Tomorrow and A Dog's Purpose, Sean Patrick Flannery, the Boondock Saints, Powder, Katrina Bowden, 30 Rock, The Bold and the Beautiful, Reno Wilson, Transformers and Mike and Molly, and Maurice Comte, Narcos, Mayans, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, plus MMA champions Renzo Grazi and Edson Barbosa, and a small part by Afshar. Afshar says, I play in an Arabic sheik this time, he says, showing a smartphone picture of himself in full costume. It's hilarious. 
asked what the most unusual moment of the current shoot was, Afshar, now joined by producer Redke and production coordinator Caitlin Epperly, describes a scene shot inside a passenger airplane. We actually brought up a full fuselage of an airplane, first class and coach class, and we set it up in a sound stage we created in a local body shop, he says. And there are two body shops on the boulevard, and we convert them to sound stages whenever we're here. So that was unusual, but our whole company is unusual. Doing 13 movies in Petaluma is unusual, and we've done it in just four years. That's a lot of stories in a short time. I think we always want to do something with heart, something inspiring, and that's definitely Mickey Kelly, Kelly, says director Alex Ranavello, stopping by for a chat with Afshar before heading over to today's shooting location. We tend to always do a story about an underdog. Mickey Kelly is the story of a guy who basically, after losing everything he was working for, gets a chance at redemption, and that's something everyone can connect with one way or another. Asked how Dennis Quaid became involved, uh, Ranavello says that happened because Afshar called a producer friend, Mark Berg, and said they were looking for a Dennis Quaid type. And that's true, Afshar said. He asked me what kind of actor we were looking for, and when I said I wanted someone like Dennis Quaid, he said, well, what about Dennis Quaid? And we said, okay, and that's kind of how it happened. He was on set for only three or four days, but it's an important role and did a great job. You know, Sean Patrick Flannery, who co-wrote the script for the film with director Alex uh, Ranavello, who directed a number of films with Afshar, exits his trailer nearby, stopping by to chat with Afshar before boarding a van for the ride over the shooting location. Flannery is himself a triple black belt in jiu-jitsu and owns two of his own martial arts schools. I think we're making some cool stuff, says Flannery, of his work with Force Films. This is the third film with the company. With this one, I think we're changing the way mixed martial arts is seen on film. It's going to be very special. I've been doing MMA for 30 years, and I really believe this film isn't going to be like nothing anyone's seen before. Until the sequel, of course, and mark my words, there will be a sequel to Mickey Kale Kelly. People will demand it. Now, not surprisingly, Afshar, being a successful race car driver himself, many of the films he's produced with Forest Films have had a strong sports angle, wrestling, car racing, rodeo riding, motocross racing, etc., with the underdog stories being a common thread. The upcoming Bennett's War, filmed two years ago with country music star Trace Atkins and Michael Rourke, Magic Mike, tells the story of a wounded U.S. veteran and one-time champion motorcycle rider, Rourke, who risked it all in a dangerous motocross race in order to save his family farm from foreclosure. That film will be released nationally on August 30th, including here in Petaluma at the Boulevard 14 Cinema. So I'll definitely be there on opening night on August 30th. So let's uh, actually all go down there and support Afshar since he's done so much for our community and support him in this uh, movie here on August 30th. And this will mark the first of Afshar's films to be released through Forest Films' own new distribution company in partnership with Warner Brothers. Of course, with this one, this type of filmmaking, we have to do things as economically as possible, producer Retke says. Everyone wears a lot of hats on one of our sets. Seriously, Ali can go from making some big executive decisions to taking out the trash in less than a minute. Base camp is beginning to clear out as the crew disperses for what will be a final, long final day and will include shots at St. Vincent High, Cypress Hill Memorial Cemetery, and right here in the parking lot for a shot with Flannery driving his character's Mustang. You know what's weird, Ali Afshar says? Getting ready to climb into the van for the ride to the apartment location. We've made 13 films here in the last four years, and I still run into people from Petaluma who don't know what that their town is the star of all these movies, who couldn't name one of the films that they had to. With a laugh and a shrug, he adds, well, maybe they could name American Wrestler, but with Bennett's War, I think it's all going to change. Bennett's War is the movie that's going to finally get every person in Petaluma look up, see what we've been doing, and tell everyone they know, hey, guess what? Our town is where this really great film was made, that one and 12 others. Basically, Afshar says, I just want to make this town to be as proud of it as I am. So that's just who he is. That's Afshar. He's always giving back to the community. We deeply appreciate everything he's done. Um, and um, shoot, hey, you see that the next movie is coming out on August 30th, Bennett's War. So let's definitely support him since he supported Petaluma so much over the years and, and decades since he grew up here. Um, and so just thank you to Ali Afshar again for everything he's done. Um, and uh, let's uh, support him and all his movies. And thank you for tuning in.